I got another tip for you. Uh, here's a relationship tip to help you in these holiday gatherings and these long visits with your family. This is one that I got when I began to really study and live A Course in Miracles. And oh my gosh, it means so much to me, this tip. And I hope it means a lot to you as well. So here it is. Go first. That's right. Be the one who goes first. And here's what I mean by it. So go first in terms of saying, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I apologize. Go first in saying, are you okay? Do you need any help? Is something bothering you? Now, A Course in Miracles is about being truly helpful, truly helpful. And I can tell you, there were a gazillion times in my younger life when I got annoyed, I got frustrated, I felt threatened, I felt vulnerable, and I wasn't happy about it. And I, I didn't know what to do. I, I felt absolutely this incredible sense of I'm trapped. I'm, I, the only thing I know to do is get angry, shut down, run away, right? Fight or flight. And since that time, I've learned that there are other options. And now that I can practice those other options besides fight and flight, I have learned that I can now extend love. I can now extend compassion. And every time I do, it raises my self-esteem. It raises my self-confidence. It is love being expressed by me, through me, and extend it outward, and that is healing for me, not just for others. So for me, for a very long time, there was such a strong feeling that I can't go first. That's a sign of weakness. I have to wait for them to make the first move. And I could wait till hell froze over, and I could live in hell until it froze over <laughs> before I would ever go first. And so the power of going first when I realized, oh my gosh, I can just start extending love. I can drop these judgments right now. I can drop these judgments right now and da 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 I will feel less vulnerable immediately. That is the secret tip. I will feel less vulnerable immediately if I just start extending love. But it has to be true love, true compassion. So if you're not there yet, you can authentically say something like, hey, I feel really annoyed and frustrated by what's happening here. But I just want you to know, underneath that frustration and irritation, the sense of hopelessness and everything that's getting triggered in me, underneath all of that, I love you, I care about you, and I'd like to have the best possible relationship that we can have. So right now in this moment, I just want to let you know that, that even though I feel like punching you in the face, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to just tell you, I love you. <laughs> Seriously, something authentic like that goes a really long way. It does. It, it breaks up the patterns because everybody knows how to get into a fight. Everybody knows how to run away and hide. Everybody knows how to withhold love and give you that cold shoulder. But very few people really know how to drop the judgments or transcend the judgments. Not doing a spiritual bypass. Just talked about that in my podcast. Not doing that but actually authentically being able to say, hey, you know what's most important to me here? Connection, love, compassion, and that's what I'm gonna go for. So I can put my differences aside. It doesn't have to be a fight to the death. This, this battleground is not the ground I wanna die on. In fact, it's the ground I wanna fly on. I wanna fly above it and transcend it. So that's the tip, go first. Don't wait. Go first. The power play is to go first. Not, and it's not power over. It's the power of love within you. That is the thing. And then we all feel better. 
Because I have to say, all those times when I would get threatened and frightened and want to run away, or I'd start a fight, or I'd get cold and shut down, or whatever it was that was going on with me, if anybody had authentically come to me and say, look, I don't like how this is right now, but I love you, and I'm totally willing to get over this so we can just have a good relationship and a good time, would you forgive me? And I know that there's nothing for us to actually forgive. There's just the judgments to get over. But those words, would you please forgive me? I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Those words mean a lot to other people's egos. And we can offer them, not to manipulate their ego, but to genuinely move into our loving and compassionate heart. And that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So I'm going to end my little video here with, I love this Christmas mug. I got this a year or two ago. I can't remember. Tis the season for forgiveness. Tis the season to extend love. Tis the season to be compassionate. It's the gift we give ourselves. It's sweeter than chocolate. And it's far more nutritious. <laughs> I love you. Mwah. Oh, by the way, these are the kinds of tips and things that we work on in Masterful Living all year long. Masterful Living classes start January 20th, but the bonuses begin on January 1st. So come and get your bonuses. I love you. Happy holidays. <laughs>